Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a candle empties video. I have a crap, crap ton of candles to review for you guys. I have burned through a lot of candles um, this month, for sure. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first one that I finished was Wine Cellar from Bath & Body Works. Now this one, I couldn't smell it in the room. It didn't do anything for me. Um... It was pretty crappy. It says, explore a blend of warm cedar wood, red fruit, and precious saffron inspired by California Wine Experts Ultimate Collection. To me, it just smelled like berry, like a cheap berry candle. I don't know. I was not impressed with that one at all. I finished a favorite. Um, I finished Marshmallow Fireside. I always enjoy this scent. It's The description on the bottom of this one changes all the time. A sweet, toasty end to a cold day. Toasted marshmallows and sumptuous vanilla cream blend into the comforting aroma of rich, smoldering woods. And if you smelled Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, most Americans have. It's like a sweet, sweet marshmallow, but it smells just like a campfire. I really, really, really like this one. Then I finished my favorite place in the world, New York Black Tie. A horrible candle. It is the perfect date for any night in the big city. Green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. It smells like, like a cheap men's shower gel. That's what it smells like. It was not impressive. The throw was pretty strong on it, too, which was... Oh, that's great. Even though it's a scent I absolutely hate. I rest my case. Then I finished Autumn. Another one that I do really enjoy from Bath & Body Works. Um, it's red apple, cedarwood, and fir balsam. So it smells like that typical, like balsamy scent like a christmas tree scent but it has a fresh apple to it which i really like it's really really nice i finished that guy off i also finished golden peach sparkle which is peach bellini so it's like that sparkling peach scent and then my last bath and body works candle ever i don't have any more i have burned through every single bath and body works candle i own and i'm so happy this is the Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity Scented Candle. Give me a break. A confident new take on our classic home fragrance, Mahogany Teakwood. Intensely beautiful. Intensely beautiful notes. Come on. Do you think they're, like, overcompensating? Notes of mahogany, cedarwood, oak, and lavender. This smells just like Abercrombie Fierce. If you've smelled it, they call it the Abercrombie Fierce Candle because that's exactly what it smells like. Then we'll move on to some Yankee Candles. I finished my favorite Yankee Candle of the Fall 2016 line, which is Autumn Bouquet. So it's a bunch of florals with a little bit of spicy patchouli. It was very, very unique. Um, none of these Bath & Body Works candles really had a throw, or these Yankee Candles had a throw, so that's why I'm not including them. <laughs> Peach Cobbler, again, no throw. I burn these guys in my bathroom because they're literally useless as candles. They don't smell. They don't do anything. I'm just trying to get into the good ones. I finished Vanilla Chai. This guy was super strong. I will say it smells just like a chai tea latte. It burned very sooty though, but chai tea latte almost. Summer Storm. Summer Storm is like an ambery, outdoorsy scent. Like, it smells super, super fresh like crushed leaves, but it has... That warm amber, which makes it like you could burn it in the fall or the winter. Or the summer. I finished. This guy was actually not bad. This is the French vanilla um, tumbler in a small tumbler. It burned very clean all the way down. And it just smells like their basic lab, like a French vanilla. And this was actually very, very creamy. I did really enjoy that. I finished a large jar in vanilla bourbon. This guy gave me trouble from the beginning. It just would not burn correctly. It finally ended up, like, I burned it one day, like, all day. From, like, 6 a.m. to, like, 1 a.m. <laughs> like, I burned it oh, forever, and it finally, finally burned and finally fixed itself. But it's just, like, a warm, warm vanilla with a little bit of that alcoholy note. Um, Honey Clementine from the new collection. This is very, very good once you burn it. It's basic, though. Like, it does smell like clementine when you just smell it. But when you burn it, you do get a little bit of those honey notes, which really just warms up the fragrance. Then I finished an old-time, old-time Yankee Candle. This guy was amazing. This was... This camera does not want to focus on this guy. 
Holly and Red. Is that Holly? Holly and Red Current, which is part of the Black Band collection. Super old. That's when it just. It was a, our strongest scented candle. And these were. Whoa. And these were strong. Like, I really, really enjoyed this. It's just a very, very warm scent. It almost smells like Passion Tea Lemonade from Starbucks. Every time I smell it, that's what I get. It's Passion Tea Lemonade. Crazy. I finished, from my favorite Yankee Candle line, is the Pure Radiances. I really do enjoy these. I finished Paradise, which is like a fruity cocktail. It almost smells just like fruit punch to me. These guys always burn really nice for me. And then I finished Apple Chai in the small. This guy was the medium. It's nice. I mean, it was just a basic apple scent. I didn't really smell any chai to it. Then I finished a Nest fragrance in the scent Hearth. I loved this scent. It is a smoked wood. <sighs> Compared to Fou de Bois from Diptyque, I would say this one's a little bit more of the actual like bark of the wood, if you know what I mean. It's definitely more raw, almost, I want to say. Like, more of a raw wood. But I really do enjoy this guy. One of the most unique candles I ever had... <coughs> almost broken. Is... Lavender shortbread for the from the Boulanger line from Anthropology. This guy is only sixteen dollars. I cannot find this in any of the Anthropology stores that I've been to, so I don't know if it's sold out or they discontinued it. It burned clean all the way down. I'm definitely going to repurpose this jar. But lavender shortbread. Immediately when you first smell it, you're going to get that really spicy or really buttery shortbread. But then you get a little of that spice from a from a lavender, not. This is not a fake lavender. You're going to get that pure lavender leaf with that shortbread. And burning it, the lavender really comes out. It's super unique. Every time I burned it, I was like, this is a really good candle. And I burned this on my mantle in my living room, and it filled up the whole entire house. Like, it was a super, super strong one. Then I finished another one from Anthropology. This is the from the Illume line. This one is called Mold Wine. I love anthrop uh, now I love anthropology candles because they're all so unique. This says bundled up against the chill, they swoosh their way down the snowy hill. And this is a two wick. I will say it didn't burn all that great, but I mean it burned all the way to the bottom. And it was also super strong. It smells just like a spicy berry. It was really, really yummy. Then I finished three from 1820 House. I finished a medium roasted coffee bean. Loved, loved, loved this scent nothing there's no cream there's no sugar it is just coffee bean pure straight up awesome to burn this in the kitchen which is where i burned it oh i just love it it makes me so happy to smell that scent i finished one of their holiday from last year candles which i believe is back this year it is the cassia and cranberry which to me just smells like a fresh like uh, cranberry. There's like super woody cranberries and then there's like, or super spicy but then there's like a crisp, fresh like you push on a cranberry and it like pops. Like it will fly across the room. It's so fresh. That's exactly what it smells like. And then the last candle I finished was Vanilla Extract, which is this guy right here. Oops. Wrong way. Vanilla Extract Handport in Ohio. I was like really curious about this one. What is vanilla extract? Like, is it just going to be vanilla? But no, it is like pure vanilla extract. It is delicious. And I actually burned this guy in the living room when I had the roasted coffee bean burning. And like when you went through the rooms, it smelled just like the best scent. It was just like that creamy, creamy vanilla. Whoops. Yeah, you just get a little bit of the spice from the uh, coffee bean with a little bit of the warmth from the vanilla. It is beautiful. But anyway, guys, I know that was super, super quick and rambly, but um, that was some candles that I finished up. Look forward next week to a really, really fun video. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.